Come on, dude, I'm still trying to reach out to you. I'm, uh, oh, Ben Schwartz. Wait, I have something for you. Can I show the, the video from Ben? Yes. Oh, yes. We love this. This is an exclusive. Ronald, Ben Schwartz here in front of a fiddler on the roof poster in Austin. I heard that you're a fan. I watched Sonic last night, dude. Okay. Wow, it was hilarious. You didn't tell me that Ben Schwartz was the voice of Sonic. I thought he was hilarious. That's cool. I'm totally cool saying goodbye now. Sonic, and then realizing how much fun it is. I have to apologize to the guy, man. I that's exactly what I have to do. I told him I heard it was a movie, so. Also, congratulations on the show. I haven't seen it yet. I can't wait to see it. I hope James was wonderful to you. <laughs> the experience is wonderful. I can't wait to see it. But I wanted to invite you, and we all want to invite you no. to one of our improv shows. So here we have Cole hey, Dunn, what's up, buddy? we have Drew Tarver, hey. we have Jess McKenna. Oh my god. Guys, it's, it's uh, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Tarver, yeah. We want to invite you to a Ben Schwartz and Friends show. Any city you want to come to, you'll tell us. Or you can come to Largo in LA. Text James Marson. He must have James' number. Text James. Text James. Yeah. And James says you can probably stay at his place. You can probably stay at his place. This is because he's bad. Do you want to use his bed? Sure, he'll sleep yeah. on the couch. <laughs> Oh my God, that literally just made my month. As I said weeks ago, when you first entered this courtroom, that this was the last trial of my career. What I didn't tell you is it's also the first uh, because I'm not a real judge. And you're not a real four person. This is not a real case. What? The weekend after, like, I, I was paranoid. I remember going out and I was at restaurants and I would just make eye contact with people and it was just totally random and coincidental. They'd divert their gaze almost instantly and I remember thinking like, oh wow, there's still cameras on me. So I was texting James, I was like, hey, I don't know if this is normal. I was like, but I'm kind of freaking out. I'm feeling a little paranoid. And in the middle of me texting him, because James is just the wonderful human that he is. He calls me right up. We talk on the phone for 30, 45 minutes. He, steps, he starts helping me walk through this process, you know? And that's really when I started to come to terms with everything I was feeling and start working through those feelings. This is three weeks of somebody's life and I was like, this is a, this can be a tricky thing to navigate. And what was paramount to me is that by the end of it, he knows that this wasn't all fake, that the connections he made, the friendships that, that were, that sprung from this are all authentic and real. 